in the time that we here now in Atlanta, you know, what's perceived here is a black Hollywood. When you say black Hollywood, you know, you think, you know, cars, money, you know, strip clubs, the nightlife, but what I'm showing is the flip side of that. You know, how, how the rap scene and the, you know, the fashion scene and the, the fast life scene just kind of took over at one time. Well, we finna do all that at one time with this style now and everything is positive. ever make a conscious conscious effort to challenge the stereotype of what somebody who's into yoga is? Hey, I'm from, man, I'm from Ben Hill and I do yoga. Leave it at that. <laughs> and people who do, people from Ben Hill, they understand, you know, like, they, they don't glorify this. They glorify the hustler, they glorify the pimp. So you were a young boy that was always in the art, but with the environment that you were in, like there's a reason you you considered yourself as lame. Yeah, I was weird. Yeah. <laughs> I was weird as the most people, man. Like I was, I was weird. Having clothes and being basketball and doing music kind of kept me in that level with the people that I was around because doing anything else, you know, had you had them looking at you funny as hell. And you want that, you know, not in the streets anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. career. But do you ever look at it like the clothes at one time could almost serve as a costume? Yeah. 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 You know, a lot of things I, I kind of glorified and put on the pedestal, you know, really wasn't satisfying my soul. So. I kind of just want to, you know, like I say, spiritual searching, spiritual knowledge, soul searching, finding finding yourself. Just really took that time. And as I took that time, you know, I started actually, you know, getting into yoga. So walk me through how you came up with the idea and then went through with getting it started. It was more like, okay, how do I bring yoga, art, and music, how do I bring it all together? I went to a couple art shows, like, man, okay, cool. There's another avenue I can actually produce something like that. So I just put it out on Instagram, created my Instagram page, met a lot of artists, because I came out like, you know, what's going on when they were on my art dealer? It was like, what? But you weren't an art dealer before then? No. Nah. Before you started telling nah. me? No, I was just, I just had a, I had a five year, I got a five year sales background. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if I could sell, if I could sell cable, if I could sell, oh, if I could sell, you know, if I could sell anything, I, I could sell some art, you know what I mean? I, I strive I strive hard for myself in my life to not be categorized. Like, yeah, I know the hood, yeah, I know all that, but there's some things about me you can't even fathom. There's some ideas in my head you can't even fathom. So for me going to that to this, people couldn't even fathom. Moving Art ATL was created to provide a platform for painters, yogis, really artists of all kinds. You know, really just um, a different aspect to the nightlife. The talent of art, the talent of yoga. You know, you have two different realms of people, but they're all centered. You know what I mean? 
how they get there, you know, is it their own way, but they're all centered. So why not bring them together? What my show is doing is actually showing people we, that we can get together and actually have a good time, a real positive time. It's all us, like, you know, there is no, there is no, okay, we got hip hop here, we got this here, we got this here. No, it's all us, like, it's all us. Why not put it all together? If I had a thought process of I, I had years ago, like four or five years ago, I would say this was this was probably the hardest thing I've ever did in my life. Now I would say this is the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. I had pessimistic times, but I always put out like, yo, this like I always had affirmation like, yo, this gonna work, like this gonna work. I told myself that every night before I went to bed, every day I got up, it gonna work. I said it at least about 15 times a day gonna work like ain't, ain't nobody gonna believe in you until you believe in yourself and the world the world will follow you you gotta believe that's what I did I believe if mama see your son dead on the news, green do shit, but looking at these 